down and dirty with the outlaws here at Smoky Mountain Green in the air. We're underway. And they storm off into one and two. Shepard shows away. Marler to the inside of Moran. Nothing doing there. Mike Marler, contact with Moran. Slowed him way down. He lost a couple spots. Owens to the outside of Shepard for the lead early. Jimmy Owens up top. Moran down low at the line. Give the lead to Jimmy Owens. Now Shepard right back to the inside. Moran to the outside of Lanigan for third. Two. Oh, oh Marler slipped way up the bank. You gotta wonder, Brad Bird, did something happen to Mike Marler on the start with the one of Devin Moran? Did something get knocked out of line, maybe? It appeared as that is the case down the back stretch a moment ago, but now he seems to have the wheels back under him, and he's locked and sideways, we got trouble in turn two. Trouble in turn. Lanigan takes second away from Shepard. Now, Daryl Lanigan was a thorn in the side of Brandon Shepard for many years when they were on tour. And back then, it wasn't Shepard, it was actually Josh Richards. So now he's a thorn in the side of Shepard, and he's going after Jimmy Owens. Daryl Lanigan starting to look scaringly comfortable. Looks like he's got a pocket full of thorns. He's got some for Jimmy Owens, perhaps, as well. But Owens trying to get back in the winning way down the back stretch. He's got about a three-car length advantage now over Lanigan. The, the finish didn't show it last night, but Chris Smokey Man also had a great capital race car. He was running third before a flat tire sidelined him. And Lanigan is on tour for one reason, one reason only, $100,000 awaiting the champion and we have the awards banquet, the Great Wolf Lodge in Concord, North Carolina in November after the World Finals. Lanigan right now trails Shepard in the points, trails him in this Wharton Buildings feature oh. that Shepard pilots. He's able to put it anywhere. And right now he puts it underneath Owens for the lead. Jimmy Owens will drag him down the back stretch and into three at least for now. Brandon Shepard's got the preferred line. He's got the handling, but he's gonna have a lap car in his distance and in his sight, so he's gonna have to make a choice. The choice is to run on the bottom right now behind Vic Hill. We'll see if that's gonna pay dividends or if that costs Shepard. Granted, it's early in the race. 25 will go on the scoreboard. This time, we'll still have 35 to go. Does Daryl Lanigan have something left in the tank for these two? Owens may have to decide to go down low. He's not run there all night. Can he hang down low? He's gonna stay up high for now. Yeah, exactly. And Owens knows Shepard's there. That's the thing. He knows he's not going away either. So Jimmy Owens just trying to hit his marks. Still plenty of time before this one's over. Now, decisions are gonna need to be made. Jimmy Owens is coming up on four of the slower cars. Dennis Herb Jr. Uh, looks like the right front has caved in on him. Herb has trouble. Herb is gonna bring out the first caution of the event if he can't get in, and he stops at Yellow Waves. Owens had the door open for Shepard. He couldn't walk through the threshold. Chris Madden, he wants third. Lanigan and Shepard are gonna, or should, Lanigan and Madden are gonna battle for third. Madden takes third away from Lanigan, so is that a case of tires? This could very well be, and just as predicted, Jimmy Owens shoots to the high side. That still seems to be the advantage so far in this feature event, but Chris Madden, now your third place machine. It looks like for good. Caution is out, we've got trouble to go Jimmy Owens will bring him up to speed let's see who wins the Tennessee tip-off classic so Daryl Lanigan oh here comes Ricky Weiss to the inside he'll take the fourth spot away from Lanigan no he'll take the fourth spot away from Madden he's chasing Lanigan Ricky Weiss finished fourth last night does he do it again or does he get more Don O'Neill Battling with Shannon Buckingham and Shane Clanton to the inside of Shepard. Nothing doing out of turn number two. Superman goes down underneath Mikey Marler. Of O'Neill and underneath the 49. Now Weiss will try to pull the trigger. Ricky Weiss going for third. Tommy Kerr's going to pull into the pits. Weiss to the inside. Lanigan to the outside. Slick Rick wants more. The rookie of the year point leader takes third away from Lanigan. Well, it's kind of an unfair advantage, Brad. You know who Ricky Weiss's crew chief is. Sanchez, who used to be the crew chief on Vic Hill. He's been here before. He'll come down the front stretch. It'll be white flag the next time by. White flag next time by. Leader heads 
in to turn number four. White flag displayed and we are one lap away from ending the streak of Brandon Shepard. But it ain't quite yet. Shepard closes in. Down the back stretch for the final time. The sixth annual Tennessee tip off classic will go to the driver from Newport, Tennessee. Jimmy Owens wins. Second will go to Shepard. Third to Ricky Weiss. And it's the Osho Jimmy Owens. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws series event and for extended on-demand race content, visit dirtvision.com. For full race results, highlights, and series news, visit worldofoutlaws.com.